During a recent trip, a Tesla Model 3 driver found himself in a precarious position. His vehicle only had 3 miles left, but the closest superchargers was 7 miles away. However, this feature that I'm about to tell you saved him from getting stranded in the middle of nowhere. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily test on electric vehicle news coverage and ring the bell so you don't miss my next uh, story. Range anxiety is one of the biggest roadblocks holding people back from transitioning to electric vehicles or Tesla. What, what if I run out of electricity and can't find a place to charge my car? This is how people think. This is a valid concern. A simple gas canister, for example, can extend your range by hundreds of miles in internal combustion vehicles. Not to mention there are tens of thousands more gas stations across the country as there are fast charging locations. In this aspect, internal combustion vehicles still have the upper hand on electric vehicles. That being said, it's important to explain range anxiety in real world driving situations. Currently, range anxiety is more of a psychological fear uh, than a realistic concern. Those who drive electric vehicles know what I'm talking about. One good example that highlights this fact is a recent incident with a Tesla driver on a road trip. The person behind the, the Kilowatts X account was driving his Tesla Model 3 when he realized it had only 3 miles of range left with the closest supercharger was only 7 miles away. Coming from an internal combustion vehicle, one would be excused for thinking the Tesla driver is about to get stranded. But look what happened. Two things to remember here are first, regenerative braking, and second, reserve battery range after a Tesla vehicle reaches zero miles remaining. Did you know that Tesla has a reserve battery range? Regenerative braking, commonly known as Regen or Regen, allows electric vehicles to recharge their batteries when pressing the brake pedal. Uh, when you press the brake pedal in internal combustion vehicles, the vehicle's kinetic, which is the moving energy, the kinetic energy is converted to heat and dissipates into the surrounding air. However, in electric vehicles, the motors can convert the vehicle's kinetic energy back to electricity and use it to charge the battery pack. In the kilowatts X user's case, his Tesla showed only three miles of range left and he needed to travel seven more miles to reach the closest supercharger. However, he was also at the top of mountain and the supercharger was at the bottom of the hill. So how did this trip go? You will be happy to learn not only did the kilowatts not get stranded on the road, but he reached the supercharger station with seven miles to spare, seven extra miles. As he was going down the hill, although he traveled three miles, he gained an additional four miles on top of the energy he needed to travel the three miles. Regenerative braking can be a blessing when you are in a range pinch. However, on regular day-to-day -day driving, the regen feature has an even more important advantage. Since for most braking circumstances, your Tesla and almost all other electric vehicles use motors rather, rather than brakes to decrease speed, your brake pads can last much longer. This fact plays an important role in decreasing the cost of ownership of an electric vehicle. This is why you can see lots of Tesla or Nissan Air happy owners or Hyundai electric vehicles. However, in addition to the financial benefits of having a second independent mechanism to slow down your vehicle, it also helps with safety in the sad or unfortunate circumstance that your brakes fail. All in all, regenerative braking is a wonderful electric vehicle only feature. However, what if, unlike the kilowatts case, you are not atop the hill and your battery is about to be empty? So what do you do in those cases? Here Tesla has also implemented another safety mechanism to prevent you from getting stranded. When your Tesla shows zero miles of range left, the vehicle has a reserve battery capacity 
to help you travel more than 20 miles. Imagine after you reach zero, you may have extra 20 miles of range. Recently, Bjorn Nieland, an early Tesla owner, tested how far his Model Y can go after reaching zero miles left. Despite his Tesla showing zero miles left, Bjorn could drive his Model Y for another 20.5, which is 33.7 kilometers, and draw an additional 4 kilowatt hour of energy, or about 5% of battery capacity. Yes, this is still not as easy as keeping a gas canister to provide hundreds of miles more. However, an additional 20 miles allows the owner of any Tesla to easily reach a supercharger station without getting stranded. According to Tesla's latest count, more than 57,500 supercharger stalls are installed worldwide. I thought it's much more, but apparently it's not so. These test charging stations have more than 99.97% uptime, meaning you are guaranteed to find a Tesla supercharger within 20 miles anywhere in the United States, China, or Europe. 20 miles you drive, you have a supercharger. Also, for the forgetful among us, if you are making a long road trip, Tesla's in-vehicle navigation system automatically routes you with all the necessary supercharger stops to reach your destination safely. This means... You just input your destination into your Tesla and the vehicle determines where you should stop and how long you should charge, making the whole process hassle-free. Another concern you might have is that you will need to frequently stop to charge your Tesla on a road trip, adding considerable time to your commute. However, something to note here is that all Tesla vehicles have more than 250 miles of range. That's more than enough for average commute, unless you are planning a trip out of the city. This gives you three to four hours of continuous driving at highway speeds. At that point, it's wise to rest, take a bite to eat, and maybe go to a restroom before you embark on your trip. In the time it takes you to complete these tasks, your Tesla is charged up and ready to go giving you another three to four hours of highway driving. You will at least have 80% of charge by then, friends. If you are coming from an internal combustion vehicle, it's understandable that you have reservation about range and charging. I can understand that. However, something to keep in mind is that the electric vehicle world has come a long way since the early days when there were only a handful of fast chargers across the country and electric vehicles could barely travel 100 miles. Today, you can buy electric vehicles that can travel more than 500 miles and charge at tens of thousands of fast chargers across the country, friends. The electric vehicle world is still making great improvements and um, follow us because we'll be sure to keep you posted on the latest technological breakthroughs at torquenews.com when it comes to electric vehicles. So until then, visit us please at torquenews.com or torquenews.com slash Tesla regularly for latest updates. So let me know what do you think about these situations. Have you ever been in a similar situation? Are you surprised to see how much range a Tesla vehicle is able to recuperate using region? Also, did you know that... Uh, you can have 20 miles extra range after you reach zero, or do you think 20 miles is enough? But if you're riding or driving another electric vehicle, let's say Nissan Aria or Hyundai Ionic vehicle, or any types of any brand of electric vehicle, ID4 or ID3, let me know if you know how much extra reserve charge do you have in your vehicle after your vehicle reaches zero miles. Uh, please write that in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. It will be interesting for other people to know. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are your first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And share this with your friends. They will be happy to know about these things as well. God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next report.